वेलकम बैक टू नेटवर्क नट्स यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम आलोक श्रीवास्तव एंड दिस इज अ स्मॉल वीडियो इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू हैव अ सिक्योर पॉड कम्युनिकेशन सो आई हैव अ कूबरनेटिस क्लस्टर विच इज रनिंग सक्सेसफुली ना वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इज दैट हाउ यू विल बी यू शुड एक्चुअली सिक्योर द पॉड कम्युनिकेशन ना वेन एवर वी क्रिएट अ पॉड सो पॉड every pod is associated with a service account right let me do it so we have i have a small uh, file here this is a very simple pod definition i'm just going to create it cube cuttle create have an first shot yaml so a pod is created so i do a cube cuttle get pods yeah it is running now what i'm trying to say is that whenever a pod get created cube cuttle get pod web server hyphen o yaml so what happens every pod needs a service account right so service account so if i show you in this pod the service account name is default right so what this service account is used for see pod has an associated service account that is used to provide the identity of the pod within the cluster right and apart from so like we have got service accounts in the linux machines normal so if we have if if i'm running apache i should have a service account of stdpd and like that so a service account is used to provide the identity of the pod and how kubernetes does it kubernetes does what it automatically connects a token a service account token see here this this token in the form of a secret so a service account get authenticated by the api server to the api server using this token it is by default there right and this is the location where the token is stored inside the pod where run secrets kubernetes.io service account and token see here this is the same name ending with 6 n9kb and uh, this is same 6 and 9 kb right so this token is attached so what's what's the problem the problem is that uh, service account token that token which is given to the pod that allows the pod to talk to the api server so what's the big deal the point is that the pods don't need it mostly pods don't need access to api server so with these two things in mind that the service account tokens allows the access to the api server and the second point is that the pod don't need it so these two things it is always recommended not to mount or not to uh, set the service account token automatically so what's the problem let me show you so this is the default setting and in the pod i had seen that the token is mounted here the default token right is there the service account name is default and the token is stored in this location inside the pod where run so if i go inside the pod cube cuttle exec hyphen it web server hyphen hyphen bash i go inside the pod and i'm trying to mount that token first right if i show you cat var uh, run uh, secrets kubernetes service account token this is the token right so i do what i take it as an environment variable export give it any name i call it token right and i put here dollar cat var run uh, secrets kubernetes dot io service account token right so if i show you echo dollar token i have got this right now what's 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 the problem the problem is that the pod can initiate a communication using that token with the api server see i can do a curl hyphen h authorization bearer i'm uh, telling my identity token and then i do a curl https slash slash kubernetes 
dot default colon 443 right and then i try to talk to the api i'm i'm giving an api call right i'm trying to talk to the a api server the pod is trying to talk to the api server using the identity which is given to him by default by the kubernetes let's see this is it a pod is able to make an api call so this normally pod doesn't need it please understand this most pods don't need access to a api why i am why the pod is allowed to go to the api i wanted to stop this so this is one way of that you should secure the pod communication to unnecessary things so what i do i exit from here i delete the pod cube cuttle get pods i do a cube cuttle delete pod web server and i just need to do a small change in the yaml so what i do here is this so it is always recommended that you should do this just in the spec block right just right here service account name if you remember the service account name was default right so specify your service account name and just write one parameter here auto mount service account token false that's it this is it so this parameter won't allow the token right the authentication to the api that will block that the pod will work my application will work it it is not at all going to uh, like hamper my application or the application won't work application will work properly because application don't need access to the api right so i save and come out uh, service account name the default whatever your service account name is and auto mount service s capital account a capital and token t capital false then run it again to capital create hyphen f first so the pod is created i hope there will be no problem here yeah it is running now if i describe it again pod web server hyphen o yaml you will see certain things S certain things i don't see that uh, token parameter anywhere right i don't see the token parameter i don't see that volume parameter see no no nowhere so that token is not available service auto mount service account token is is false so i don't see that volume where run location and anything so if i again go to the inside the pod right and i'm trying to see it i do a i'm trying to go to cd where run secrets i don't see anything i don't see anything so this is a much secure way of running the pods that uh, you should not be getting the token to communicate with the api server as normally pods don't need it normally in case you need it then you there are certain parameters like expiration settings and all that that can be allowed but this is the first thing that you should do and i'll come out of the pod so remember these two lines will help to secure the pod communication that i am not at all mounting a service account token inside every pod which is the default which uh, so that token is mounted as a secret actually so which is the default one and the pods don't need it so still my application is running so if i show you to cuttle get pod hyphen o wide and if i do a curl on http slash slash 172.16.3.151 it's working my application is working but the pod unnecessary communication or unnecessary privilege that the pod can talk to the api server uh, do a api call that is being blocked so this is what a small tip i want to share with you i hope you have liked it do implement it whenever it is required thank you very much i'll be seeing you again soon stay connected take care godspeed